Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a hot topic you've probably seen on the internet, the Skyward Sword remake for the Wii. If you've been on the internet since the Nintendo Direct last week, I'm sure you've seen this wonderful meme and I, you know, ate this one up. I love this one. Um, and on top of this, I also was listening to the Spawn Wave, you know, podcast every Saturday. So I was listening to that at work today and it got me thinking because they were talking about this as well. The Skyward Sword remake at $60. How is that justified? Why is Nintendo selling this port, this 10 year old port at $60? Are they justified? I think so, yeah. I think 100%. Here's why. I'm gonna start it off like this. You, I come to you, right? And I'm like, hey, you know, I got, hmm, let's say, this Wii remote, right? And I'm gonna sell it to you for $40. And you're like, sure, I'll buy it for $40. Next week I come, hey, I got a Wii Remote, $40, it's yours, you buy it again. And after a while, you're like, these Wii Remotes aren't worth $40, you know, they're they're valued at 20 So you start bitching about it, you get real mad, like, hey, like, online, you're like, this is so dumb. But I, every week I come to you, hey, you want this remote, it's $40, you can have it, and you buy it from me, week after week after week. That is exactly what is going on here with these ports. Nintendo is taking these old games, Skyward Sword now, 10 years old, and it's it's selling it as a new new game price at, at $60. And you know what? We're gonna all buy it. And that's 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 what's going on. Nintendo's taking these ports and they're selling them over and over again at these same or heightened prices. And Nintendo, let's be real, doesn't really give a shit if you complain about it. In fact, they probably like it. It's like free promo, right? So we, the consumers, keep buying these Nintendo games at these inflated or same prices as they were 10 years ago. Why would Nintendo ever, ever consider stopping this business model? We're supporting it like hotcakes. I have a list of games here, some ports um, that are on the Switch now. I have how many units they've sold and the prices they're at. So let's go down the list. Just a couple games here. First one, we got Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Now this did have a little bit of a push because it did have a limited release cycle. It was only on the market for a couple of months. Um, and then also I do think this game was 110,000% worth the price. Um, it's $60 on the eShop and in, show, in stores, $60. And it has sold, guess, okay, now write your guess in the comments. It sold 8.32 million copies as of uh, the end of 2020, which is insane, insane. Uh, the next game I got here sold a, a good amount less. DK Tropical Freeze, you know, was released in 2017. It's coming up on four years old. Um, online, eShop, $60. Physicals go for about 40. Um, you can find them for about 40. But this game sold, sold 2.65 million copies. Um, and that was just as December 2019. That was, what, a year ago. So it's probably, I, I picked the game up in 2020. So it definitely has sold more over time. It's, it's probably a little higher than that. The next game, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I, I'm, I own this game, you own this game. I'm sure half the internet owns this game now. Um, $60, physical is about 50, uh, but it has sold, guess this one, 33.4 million as of February 2021. Pigment 3 Deluxe, 60 digital, a little cheaper probably on the store shelves, but it sold 1.5 million as of this month, February 2021. And the last one I have down here, new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, 9.82 million copies. Y'all see the problem here? We're just buying it up, man. We're just eating it. Eating it. Left and right, these games. So, here's what you need to do is you need to sit down and you need to Think about why am I purchasing this Skyward Sword remake, especially if you've been online and you've been complaining. This is a time where you can speak with your wallet. You're not gonna buy the game. That's one option. And, and, and great, you don't think it's worth it, you're not gonna buy it. That's mature as hell and I appreciate that. Don't support things, don't buy things you don't believe in or don't agree with. Now the other side of this argument is, yeah, I'm gonna buy it, but why? Have you been online complaining? Maybe you should reconsider why you're gonna purchase the game. If you just want to purchase it for nostalgia's sake, cool. But are you going to beat it? Are you going to get your $60 out of it? Are you going to regret buying it or wish you bought this other game instead? These are things you need to consider when you, when speaking with your wallet is at hand because this is a very hot topic right now. There's a lot of people out here saying, you know what? 
This game isn't worth $60, but I guarantee you they're gonna go out and they're gonna buy it. Kind of get your reasoning together as why you are or not gonna buy it, and then go speak with your wallet. Purchase it if you think it's worth 60. Don't purchase it if you don't think it's worth 60. It's really as simple as that. No one cares if you buy it if, or if you don't. No one cares if you own it or if you don't. There's no pressure to own it. There's no pressure to not own it. But just know this is a time to speak with your wallet. Do what you think is right. Support it at 60 or don't. But just know if we keep buying these games at $60, they're gonna stay at $60. So I hope this was for uh, some food for thought for you. If you, you know, this made you ponder something, if you realized something during this, cool man, throw down that thumbs up. If you thought this was a dumb waste of your time, thumbs it down, leave a comment, tell me what you think about this whole thing going on with these ported games and the $60. Um, and the last thing I wanna plug is I stream on Twitch, link in bio, uh, twitch.tv slash ramx3. Hey, anyways, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate the, the time you gave me, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.